ever tried sweet and spicy fried fish before, family? I want to share my amazing recipe with you and I hope you like it. We're going to really inject amazing flavors into this fish for them to taste great in the end. And I'm going to apply certain ingredients to make this fish become so crispy on the outside and very moist on the inside. Please stay tuned till the end and be inspired. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the video, right? Now family, let's begin! Family, I'm using croaker fish and you can use any fish of your choice. And I'm using two croaker fish, yeah? And I'll leave the fence on. I'll also leave the gills and the gill covers on. Okay, it's up to you to remove them if you don't like them, yeah? And I'm also cutting them into three each. You can cut them into four or five if you like or into any sizes of your choice, okay? And so far, I'm so happy with the sizes I'm going for. Even though I've let the fishes sort and I've cleaned them nicely, after cutting them entirely, I'll again use lemon juice and salt to properly cleanse them. That way, all the funny smells will go away. And that'll make my pieces of fish smell good before I apply my seasonings, yeah? So keep watching Family Go Nowhere if you want to see the whole process and I'm sure you love it, okay? After adding the lemon juice and salt, the next thing is to add water and I will let it sit for about 15 minutes for the fish to be well cleansed, okay? Just like so. The amount of water you are using should be at the same level as the fish or above the fish, okay? Family, please like, share, comment on the video and a girl will really, really appreciate it. Alright? Share for others to see this amazing recipe and help spread the word. Next are my seasonings and into the bowl I've added my garlic powder, ginger powder, onion powder, paprika powder, fish seasoning, mixed herbs, and so to taste. I just eyeball them without any measurements because I know how much these needs I don't have in my fish. Yes, yeah, so now you start to mix them gently together until they are all combined. The fish are here and well cleansed. I'm going to now apply the seasonings just like so on them. So now let's coat and rub the seasonings in the fish. Make sure all the parts of the fish is really, really covered in the seasonings. Just like I'm doing, you open the gill area, you apply some seasonings there. This will help the fish taste so great in the end. Now I'm applying honey for the sweet taste. Family, adding the honey to the fish is really a game changer. Whenever you want to try this recipe out, don't miss the honey part. You will love it. It's really, really an amazing twist to so making a delicious and flavorful fried fish. Now I'm going to sprinkle some black peppercorns on it because I want that flavor in there. But I do not want more of that. That is why I just sprinkled a little bit on the fish and it's fine. I'm going to add my curry leaves, which will also add their flavor to the fish when marinating. Yeah, you can as well grind them if you like. But having it this way is fine by me, okay? So next, I'm going to also grate some shrimp tablet on the fish to also add its flavor. Family, from the beginning, you can even add all of these seasonings together and apply them on the fish and not having it done this way, okay? Like the former seasonings, make sure to apply the latter on every part of the fish. Just like this. So amazing. So now family, let's cover it up with our clean foam and allow them to marinate for hours, possibly overnight, because this will help the fish taste so, so amazing. And from here, I was so busy that I couldn't attend to the fish anymore. So they stayed in the fridge for three days until I was ready to fry them. And here they are after three days. And the fish have really, really absorbed all the seasonings and they smell super amazing. Since they've been well marinated, I could just fry them straight away 
after having my flour yeah but i'm going to make some incisions for the fish to fry really really well and for it to also look good okay you could do the incisions at the early stage after cutting the fish and you do not have to wait till this point initially i didn't plan on doing that that is why i didn't do the incisions at the early stage but anyway having the incisions will also help the fish absorb the seasonings really really well and will also help fry the inside of the fish nicely and quickly now i'm applying some seasoned flour on the fish and the seasonings i added to the flour are some of the seasonings i use from the beginning ginger powder garlic powder paprika powder onion powder and fish powder okay and salt this will also help to intensify the flavors of the fried fish and will also help the fish to be crispy on the outside now i'm going to use um toothpick to, to bring these two parts together because if not when I fry the fish, they might just separate looking away from each other. But I want them to be close. So using the toothpick will help that. Look at that. Inside is well seasoned and I'm loving the flavor so far. Wow, so beautiful. Family, it's now time to fry our fish. And into the oil, I'm adding onion, rosemary for flavor, okay? And now I'm adding my fish. Beautiful. Hmm. What an amazing aroma. Family, I'm going to be frying till I get a golden brown color for all of the fish, yeah? This is so nice and almost ready. But since I want them crispy, I'll let them fry for about two to three minutes more until I get that crispy effect, yeah? The aroma is so, so heavenly. Family, don't just watch the video, but give it a try, okay? And also, don't forget to like, share, comment on the video, and your girl will really appreciate it. Also, kindly recommend this channel to friends and families who may like my recipes. Ooh, family, you need to be here. I'm beaming with all smiles because the aroma in my house is super, super magical. Look at that. Well marinated sweet and spicy you need to try this family don't just watch the video and i love the color i've achieved so nice and golden and so crispy on the outside and moist on the inside so now i'm frying the heads of the fish and i'll let them really really fry well i want them also nice and crispy as well as being golden oh Family, please share this video for others to see. Help your girls spread the word. Don't forget to also like and comment. Let me know your thoughts about this recipe. And if you try this out, don't forget to also bring me the feedback by tagging me on Instagram. Commenting down below my Facebook and YouTube videos. Alright, so that is it. We are all done frying the fish. And I love it so far. Ta-da! Look at that. This is so beautiful. I love the aroma. It's so crispy on the outside and very, very moist on the inside. This fish goes well with rice, kenke, banku, like, yeah, rice as in plain rice, wache, chinkafa. Name them. This fish is well seasoned, well marinated. It's well fried and the flavor is super duper amazing. Family, you need to be here to taste it. But no worries, I'll do all the tasting for you, okay? <laughs> all you need to do is to get yourself your fish. Any kind of fish will do and follow my recipe. Or you can even recreate it and make it your own. Yeah, family, after frying my well seasoned and marinated, Crispy on the outside and moist on the inside. Super duper flavorful fish. What did I do next? I made some okra as you all can see. And into the okra I added some seasonings, onions and baking soda to enhance its sliminess. And now I'm going ahead to grind my onions, scotch bonnet pepper, 
tomato and red bell pepper. I'll then add seasoning cube for more flavor. I will then add proper salt later if the salt contents in the seasoning cube is not enough. Yeah. So now there we go. I need salt and I'll grind. Mix everything together so the salt is well dissolved and evenly distributed. I'm going for this texture and again I'll scoop some on the side because it's too much for me at the moment. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to garnish it with my chopped spring onions, red bell pepper, chopped onions, the purple one, tomatoes, again spring onion, and again chopped purple onion and the green bell pepper. Family, this is how I enjoyed my sweet and spicy fried cocoa fish and i put it with my kinky Ooh. so hot and ooh, you need to be here you are all invited today i'm going the american way where we add okra stew or just normal okra bean stew or normal beans to our kinky just like this and now i'm adding my shito or black chili sauce without herring powder and shrimp powder and it's a banger the recipe is right here on my channel playing. Check it out for your own convenience. Yeah, family, I hope you've been inspired. For more of my videos, please follow your girl on Instagram, like and follow my Facebook page, follow me as well on TikTok and Twitter, and above all, subscribe to my YouTube channel for us to build this amazing family together. Thanks for watching till this point. See you all again in my next video. Until then, Stay blessed, stay safe, be good, take care, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Kiss. Bye, y'all. Oh, this is so inviting and yummy. Delicious.